Now let's proceed and let me explain you now how to create new files and how to edit files. Most files you are working with in Linux shell are actually text files. For example, files with extension .txt or shell script files. That's why you need to have editor that is capable of editing files. And there are different editors that you could use in order to edit files directly in the shell. And I'll show you such editors as VIM and Nano. Nano is basically my favorite editor, it is most simple for use. But first let me show you how you could create new text files. And there are several ways to do that. First way, it is to use touch command. Let's first have a look at help for this command. And if you'll scroll up to description of this command, you'll see that this command is used for updating of access and modification times of each file to the current time. What it means? I have shown you before that every file has a creation date and modification date. And if you use ls command, let me show you that. Let me go, for example, to etc folder and let's use ls-la command here. And in this table, you'll see those dates, May 20th, for example. And this says that this security folder, it is folder, was modified at 20th May. Also, you see that, for example, this file sysctl.conf was modified at February 13th. And using touch command, you could modify modification time of specific file to current time. Let me show you that. And let's, for example, modify time of this file, sysctl.conf. And for that, simply enter touch sysctl.conf. Please note that the modification time at this moment of time is February 13th. Let's press enter. Command was executed. And now let's repeat ls-la. And now I see that cctl.conf was modified today. It's May 27th. That's how touch command actually works. But if file that you supply as argument to this command is absent at the moment, then touch will create empty file. And its modification date will be equal to current time. That's the most common usage of touch command actually. All right, let's go back to home directory for this particular user. Recap that this tilde sign represents current working directory for this root user. And in this case, it is simply slash root folder. And let me clear terminal and enter following command. Touch. And let's create new file, file1.txt. And if I list files and folders now, I'll see file1.txt here in this list. But if I read contents of this file, cut file1.txt, I'll see that this file is empty. This means that touch command creates basically new empty file. That's the first way how you could create new file. Second way, you could use echo command. Recap that the echo command simply takes some string as input and sends it via std out. And if I type echo hello, I'll see hello here in the terminal. That's because this process, echo process, has redirected the std out by default to this window. And recap that we could easily redirect std out data stream to specific file using greater than operator. Let's do that. And let's write hello to specific file named file2.txt. Recap that now this file2.txt is absent. Let's do that. Echo, hello, and let's use greater than sign and here will be file name, file2.txt. Press enter. I don't see hello here in the terminal because now std out data stream was sent to this file, file2.txt. Let's list now files and folders and I see file2.txt. Let's read it, cut file2.txt and I see that it has hello text inside. That's the second way how you could create new file using echo command, if you know some initial text contents for this file. Also, you could create new file using text editors like VIM or Nano. But let me talk about those editors in the next lecture, and first we will install them using apt-get, because now those editors are actually absent here. Let's do that next. Bye.